Hey everyone, it's Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report, and Katie Coleman, who is a uh, astronaut, NASA astronaut, happened to be walking by. We just, I saw her space station patch on, and I had to ask her a question. I thought it was amazing. Katie, uh, you've actually flown to the space station. I lived there for six months and didn't really even want to come home quite yet. Really, six months? Yeah, we live in space. We just we just had to get there. It's just a place. You that honestly, we you honestly spent six months in space. I did. I did. Um, yeah, just a, a quick question. I know you're really busy and you're going to another interview, but you know I'm really interested. When they land, I notice they're you're, they're picked up in the steps, right in the in the Ural steps. It's true, and so. It, I have a certain empathy for Orion today. So, you know, Orion is our ship that's going to take us beyond low Earth orbit. Well, the biggest part of that is basically leaving Earth's orbit and then coming back. And so in just a few minutes, in about 10 minutes, it's going to fire its second uh, second stage. That takes us 15 times further than we've been, than I've been in the space station. And, it, and that exciting. means with all that extra energy and speed, now when we come home, we have to burn that off. And that's a really critical part of the test today. I've been through that trial by fire, really? so to speak, in the Soyuz. And not, but but not is not the same thing as Orion's going to do today. In that we are not going as fast in the space station yeah. and the Soyuz. So but we have a lot of. I'm, I'm not taking any props away from you. <laughs> Anyone who has come through the atmosphere is tops well, in my it's book. It's pretty amazing to be sitting in a space a spaceship, and you know, I knew ahead of time that it was going to feel like we were on fire. That I was going to see little pieces of spacecraft and you, and you actually did. peeling off, and I did. And it's but it's important. I mean, Orion is going through. Tw it's bleeding off twice the amount of energy. And so we need to understand, is that safe for when we have people on board? So no people today, but 1,200 sensors that will tell the story of what it would be like if somebody was sitting there. And we're also going to get to see their point of view when Orion looks at the Earth with a camera. Well, I, I, I just, I'm really happy I had the opportunity to ask you these questions. I do have one more for you, and it's 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 more about your re-entry and landing out in the, the Urals. Do you, do they, are you really, your body weak and you need to be carried, or is that just something symbolic that they do when, when you land? You know, I think it depends on the person. Um, I like to say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I landed like a million dollars. Uh-huh. So, but you felt strong enough to walk on your own? Um, I did, but then, um, actually, there was one guy that decided to pick me up by himself, and I of think course. Kind of sorry he did that because right. you know with the space that you weighed really a lot. Really, <laughs> that must have been. I'm, I'm just what an adventure you've been on. I'm, I'm just so envious. It's it's part of a long journey. I mean, I played a little part. I lived on the space station when we're testing out the life support systems for missions, you know, further like to Mars. So you actually did um, Orion-related research up there. It's all related. You know, we're, we're, we're figuring out the life support system so that we know how to do that. But there's a good reason why we're not on Mars yet, and it's because we're not ready. We are, there's technologies that we need to develop, and those technologies are being developed on the space station. And even cooler is these technologies that we had to figure out to make Orion fly today. Those technologies we are using on the Earth today, we call them spin-offs, so to speak. You know, how do you design a really lightweight composite structure? Well, there's some lessons we needed to learn. Those lessons are being applied to aircraft, spacecraft, all over the planet today because of the lessons we learned in order to build and fly Orion today. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in space technology, and plus NASA took us all around on the development that they're doing for the SLS, and they're solving problems that have never come up before, it's so true. it's just fascinating. But Katie, thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. so I'm so, so we pulled you away from what you were doing, okay, but I gotta run, though. Okay. thank you for your time. <laughs> Bye, and thank you, you know, uh, thanks for showing space. It's great stuff, and people need to know about it, so thanks. I couldn't imagine. Well, we're really grateful for astronaut Katie Coleman taking some time to talk to us. Well, we've got to go. We've got to pick up our remote cameras from the launch site, so for now, this is Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report.